welcome to the session. In this session, we discuss the following question which says, show that the function f defined as follows is continuous at x equal to 2 but not differentiable thereat. The function fx is defined as fx equal to 3x minus 2 when x is greater than 0 and less than equal to 1, 2x square minus x when x is greater than 1 and less than equal to 2, 5x minus 4 when x is greater than 2. Before we move on to the solution, let's discuss the conditions when a function is continuous and differentiable. First we have a function fx is continuous at x equal to a if the right hand limit given as limit x tends to a plus fx is equal to the left hand limit given as limit x tends to a minus fx is equal to f of a. Now, next we have a function fx is differentiable at x equal to a if the right hand derivative of the function fx at x equal to a given as limit h tends to 0 f of a plus h minus f of a this whole upon h is equal to the left hand derivative of the function fx at x equal to a given as limit h tends to 0 f of a minus h minus f of a this whole upon minus h. And the common value of the right hand derivative and the left hand derivative is denoted by f dash a. This is the key idea that we use for this question. Let's proceed with the solution now. We are given the function fx defined as 3x minus 2 when x is greater than 0 and less than equal to 1, 2x square minus x when x is greater than 1 less than equal to 2, and 5x minus 4 when x is greater than 2. We have to show that this function fx is continuous at x equal to 2, but it is not differentiable at x equal to 2. First of all, let's check for the continuity of the function fx at x equal to 2. For this, we have to show that the left hand limit and the right hand limit of the function at x equal to 2 are equal and each is equal to f of 2. Now first we have the left hand limit of the function at x equal to 2 is given by limit x tends to 2 minus f of x. Now x tends to 2 minus implies the value of x is less than 2 and from the function fx defined we find that for x less than 2 we have fx as 2x square minus x. So, in place of fx here, we write 2x square minus x as x tends to 2 minus. So, putting x equal to 2 minus h and as x tends to 2, h tends to 0. Therefore, the left hand limit would be equal to limit h tends to 0 and in the function fx we put x as 2 minus h so here we have limit h tends to 0 2 into 2 minus h whole square minus of 2 minus h this is further equal to limit h tends to 0 2 into 4 plus x square minus 4h minus 2 plus h that is we further have 
limit h tends to 0 8 plus 2h square minus 8h minus 2 plus h thus limit h tends to 0 2h square minus 7h plus 6 as h tends to 0 so we will put h equal to 0 in this function which gives us 2 into 0 minus 7 into 0 plus 6 which is equal to 6. This is the left hand limit. Therefore we have the left hand limit at x equal to 2 is 6. Next we find out the right hand limit at x equal to 2 and this is given by limit x tends to 2 plus f of x as x tends to 2 plus so we will see the value of the function fx for x greater than 2 for x greater than 2 we have fx as 5x minus 4 so in place of fx we will put 5x minus 4 so here we have right hand limit at x equal to 2 is equal to limit x tends to 2 plus 5x minus 4. Now as x tends to 2 plus, so we will put x as 2 plus h and as x tends to 2, we have h tends to 0. Therefore, the right hand limit is given by limit h tends to 0 and in place of x here we will put 2 plus h so 5 into 2 plus h the whole minus 4 further we have limit h tends to 0 10 plus 5h minus 4 which is equal to limit h tends to 0 5h plus 6 as h tends to 0, so we will put h equal to 0 in this function which is equal to 5 into 0 plus 6 which is equal to 6. That is the right hand limit. So we have right hand limit at x equal to 2 is 6. Further we find out f of 2. Now from the function fx defined, we have for x equal to 2, the function fx is 2x square minus x. And in this function, we will put x equal to 2, so 2 into 2 square minus 2, that is equal to 2 into 4 minus 2, which is equal to 8 minus 2, that is 6. So f of 2 is equal to 6. Thus, the left hand limit is 6, the right hand limit is also 6 and f of 2 is also equal to 6. That is limit x tends to 2 minus f of x is equal to limit x tends to 2 plus f of x is equal to f of 2 and each is equal to 6. Thus, we can say that the function fx is continuous at x equal to 2. Next, we need to check for the differentiability of the function fx at x equal to 2. Now, as given the key idea, we know that a function fx is differentiable at x equal to a if the left hand derivative and the right hand derivative are equal and they are equal to. First of all, let's find out the right hand derivative that is r f dash a of the function fx at x equal to a and this is equal to limit h tends to 
zero, f of a plus h minus f of a, this whole upon h. As we are supposed to check the differentiability at x equal to two, so in place of a we will put two. So our f dash two is equal to limit h tends to zero, f of two plus h minus f of two, this whole upon h. Now f of two plus h means that the value of the function f x when x is greater than two. For x greater than two, we have f x as five x minus four. And in place of x, we put two plus h. So this is equal to limit h tends to zero five into two plus h the whole minus four minus of f of two, which is the function f x at x equal to two. At x equal to two, the function f x is two x square minus x. Where we put the value of x as two to get the value of f of two. So here we have two into two square minus two the whole, and this one upon h. Further we get limit h tends to zero ten plus five h minus four minus now. This that is two into two square, which is eight minus two is six. So we have six, and this whole upon h, which further gives us limit h tends to zero five h upon h. This ten minus four minus six cancels. So here we have five h upon h. This h and h cancels. So we are left with five. That is. The right hand derivative of the function f x at x equal to two is five. Now let's find out the left hand derivative of the function f x at x equal to two denoted by l f dash two is equal to limit h tends to zero f of two minus h minus f of two this one upon minus h. For the function f of 2 minus h, we need to look out for the value of the function f x when x is less than 2. So, for x less than 2, we have 2 x square minus x as the function f x, and in that function, we need to put x as 2 minus h. So, this is equal to limit h tends to 0, 2 into 2 minus h the whole square minus of 2 minus h, the whole minus f of 2, which is obtained as 2 into 2 square minus 2, which is equal to 6. So here we have 6, and this whole upon minus h. This gives us limit h tends to 0, 2 into 4 plus h square minus 4h, the whole minus 2 plus H minus six, the whole, and this whole upon minus H. Further, we get limit H tends to zero, eight plus two H square minus eight H minus two plus H minus six, and this whole upon minus H, which is equal to limit. H tends to zero, two H square minus seven H. This eight minus two and minus six cancels, and this one upon minus H, which is equal to limit H tends to zero. Taking H common from the numerator, we have two H minus seven the whole upon minus H. This H H cancels, and so this is equal to limit. H tends to zero minus of two H minus seven is seven minus two H, and in place of H we'll put zero, so this is equal to seven. Thus, this is the left hand derivative of the function f x at x equal to two. So now we have the right hand derivative of the function f x at x equal to two is five. So 
this is equal to 5 which is not equal to 7 that is the left hand derivative of the function fx at x equal to 2. That the right hand derivative of the function fx at x equal to 2 is not equal to the left hand derivative of the function fx at x equal to 2. Therefore, we say that the function fx is not differentiable at x equal to 2. Hence we say that the function fx is continuous at x equal to 2 but not differentiable at x equal to 2. So this completes our session. Hope you have understood the solution of the question.